NVIDIA artificial intelligence researchers have used simulation and reinforcement learning in order to train a robotic hand that can perform tasks with shocking dexterity. This makes us believe that how robots or even a part of a robot, for example this robotic hand, can help people in daily life. A human hand is the result of so many millions of years of evolution from being trained to carry a wheel or even a heavy part to now doing so many things that could not be done before. So this robotic hand gives us the hope of an AI based robot to really really help us in the daily lives. Hey guys, welcome back to AI Banter with Namya and in today's video, we are going to see all about NVIDIA's ISAC robotic simulator that can be used to train the robotic hands and how robots can actually be used in our daily lives. If you're really interested in this video, be sure to watch the whole video and please subscribe to the channel down below, like this video and share it with your friends. Let's go! In order for the robots to really help us work in our daily lives, they should have the ability to adapt to an environment and look at the tools and things that are around them and adapt to them accordingly. Otherwise, they would just be used in specialized environment, for example, being a factory or a warehouse. The ability to grasp an object and then manipulate it, as we are seeing over here in this NVIDIA video. Uh, so basically, this involves all the joints of our fingers. For example, in a human hand, the joints of our fingers are responsible for doing different kinds of tasks. Similarly, the companies are investing in robots construction and making them as similar as it can be uh, to a human hand. Now the thing is that a robotic hand that may not have as many joints in its construction, the problem that it faces is that coordination may not be proper. When we are using our two hands, it needs the coordination of both the fingers, all the joints and muscles. But this is not the situation right now in the robotic hands. So the only solution that could be seen is using deep reinforcement learning or also known as deep RL in order to train the robot using a deep neural network uh, and reinforcement learning so that it can be trained to grasp and coordinate with the tools around it. Through this, a robot would learn from trial and error. For example, if it does a particular task correctly, then it would be rewarded. But if it doesn't, then it would be punished. And this is what is the concept of reinforcement learning. However, if we really use this concept, it would need a lot of samples in order to train the robotic hands and joints. And the solution for this came up by NVIDIA by launching NVIDIA's ISAC Robot Simulator. So now let's learn about this. So with NVIDIA's ISAC Robotic Simulator, it allows the robot to be trained much more quickly than the real world because it has the same simulated environment but it runs much faster than in the real world. Also, it provides all the tools, environment, even the laws of physics that are there in real life, even in the simulated environment. So this helps the robots to be trained much more quickly and efficiently. One of the examples is of a Dextreme project where the people trained a robot in the simulated environment only to make a similar position of a cube that had different letters on each of its faces. So this was done in the simulated environment and then practically experimented in the real life environment to test if the deep neural network actually worked or not. And yes, it did. So the robotic hand uh, could definitely copy the cube's position of all the three letters and then imitate it on the second one and that was in the robot's hand. Now this type of work was already done by, uh, by OpenAI's team but actually they used a very expensive robot and also a supercomputer along with that. But Dextreme project was inexpensive and more efficient also. Now the Dextreme project actually used a robot that was made up of Allegro hand and it is much more inexpensive or cheaper you can say than the other robotic hands. So also, it has an immovable wrist, that is the wrist does not move and it has only four fingers and, a, uh, and although 
those four fingers are movable so along with this uh, robotic hand they were achieve uh, they were able to achieve this goal now this task was done with the help of nvidia's isac environment that provided a simulation similar to the real world and they were able to train it inside that simulated environment and be able to achieve it in real life also now with the help of this omniverse ovx server the robot could be trained in just 32 hours which would be equivalent to actually 42 years of human years experience in real life now this is a very huge goal that is achieved by nvidia because 32 hours is a really short period of time where the robot can be trained with 42 years of experience. Now this server allows it to be much more efficient and a quicker process. Now for this, three cameras were used along with the deep neural network software. Uh, also in order to make the system more robust and stronger so that it can be used to carry out any task uh, in the complicated real life. It was trained with different kinds of camera positions, with different lighting and different and different people showing the task that was to be done with the cube. Random crops, rotations and even different kinds of backgrounds were changed so that it does not get trained in a single environment but can be used in a multi-purpose environment. Opening a bottle, opening a can, taking out 10 or $100 from the wallet and also uh, imitating the position of the cube that is there with all the different faces letters so these were some of the tasks that were trained uh, for the robot now simulation definitely provides a better environment than the real world because training in the real world would require a lot of sources a lot of resources a lot of backgrounds to be actually there in front of the robot and it needs thousands and millions of samples in order to get trained so that's where simulation is a better option in order to train such neural networks in order to change the physics properties of the environment domain randomization is used it helps the ai to adapt to the unusual scenarios that could not have maybe they cannot happen in real life but definitely it would help the tra uh, it would help to train the model and even when the training was done for the Dextreme robot, it would uh, actually be done sometimes by um, maybe a malfunctioning finger or a malfunctioning thumb so that it can be a more robust uh, robot when it is actually implemented in the real life. Similarly, you might have heard a robot winning a Google coding competition or even a chess competition. And there are so many trainings that are actually going on, on in robotics where robots are winning board games and doing so many things that actually work like a human mind. In a research paper of Google DeepMind, they actually have uh, Google has actually claimed that their AlphaCode A robot can work like a human coder and can literally code everything and every problem that can be done by a human. Also, you might have heard about Microsoft's Copilot AI, where uh, whenever the software developer is coding something, the recommendations come up and it is actually given by AI. So if you're interested in watching videos on Microsoft's Copilot AI or even Google's AlphaCode robot, so be sure to comment down below and I'll make the video on that. Uh, I hope you like the video and this technology is actually really really going forward and in the future definitely we'll be able to see more and more robots coming up and working in the daily lives of humans, uh, maybe along with us in our offices sitting right next to us. So yeah, be, pre be prepared for all of that and this is of course due to artificial intelligence. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below AI Banter. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.